to begin our next unit on relations, and we're going to start off with graphing ordered pairs. At the top, I've highlighted all the keywords. Some of them are review, and some of them are going to be new. So we're going to be dealing with relationships. So in this table of values, we have some information about the number of cupcakes and the cost per, um, for purchasing the cupcakes. Right now, the information is presented in a table of values, but the information can also present it as ordered pairs. And it's going to look like this. It's going to take on the form of a number and a comma and another number inside the brackets. So in this case, we have the number one represent the first number always represents the numbers in the first column, which is one and the cost is one. When we have two cupcakes, the cost is $2. When we have six cupcakes, the cost is $5. And eight cupcakes corresponds to $7. Now, once we have this information in order to pairs, it's sometimes more difficult to see the relationship between the numbers. So if that happens, we can take the information that's in ordered pairs and plot the points on a grid to get a different representation of the information. So what we're going to do is, I've already provided a grid. Right now it's labeled X and Y. The X is always the first quantity and the second number is always x. Now in this particular case, because we are dealing with not just numbers, but numbers that represent a specific quantity, we can label this axis number of cakes. And on the vertical axis, we'll list the cost with a dollar sign. And what we can do then is we can introduce a scale. So I'm going to go up by one. So I'm going to label this. So my number is going to go from zero to eight. And on the vertical scale, my numbers are going to go from zero to eight as well, using a scale of one. And now this corresponds to the point one, one. So you go always one on the horizontal axis first and up to the one. And there's our first point. The second point, two, two. So you start with two on your horizontal axis and move up two on the vertical. We jump to six. So it's going to go from six up to five and from eight up to seven. And now we have a graphical representation. We are not going to connect the points at this time. Okay, now in this example, all the numbers that we are dealing with are positive. This is not always going to be the case. Sometimes we're going to be uh, working with ordered pairs that involve negative numbers. And in that case, we have to change the grid so that it looks like the Cartesian grid. The Cartesian grid. You've seen this before. Okay, has a x axis, which is like a number line with negative numbers, zero up to positive numbers. And the y axis is like a vertical number line, again, starting at zero, going up, and then negative numbers. And the point where the two axes intersect has a special name, it's called the origin. Now, you can see that there are four different sections to our uh, Cartesian grid, and they are called quadrants. So this one up here is called quadrant number one. And you actually go in a counterclockwise orientation, and this is number two. This is quad number three. And this one is quadrant number four. So we have our four different quadrants. Now what we want to do is we want to plot the ordered pairs 
And so I've got some examples down below. Um, we've got the points. It's just like being in real class when I have to fiddle with the camera. Okay, so the first point is A and it's the point three seven. So I'm gonna write it up here. A is the point three seven. So that means the X value is three and the Y coordinate is seven. So I go over to the three and then I'm going to shift up seven. And that I'm gonna label point A. For point B, it's going to have the coordinates negative four and eight. So what we're going to do is the first coordinate is on the x-axis. So you on the x-axis you find the negative four, and the y counterpart is eight. So you count up eight squares: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there is the coordinates of B. And C is going to have the coordinates negative seven and negative four. So we're going to go. The x coordinate is negative seven, and then we're gonna count down four. One, two, three, four, there's C, and D, are they gonna, we're gonna do the coordinates eight and negative nine. And so we're gonna go over to positive eight, and we're gonna go down nine squares, and that is point D. And that is graphing points, or ordered pairs, on the Cartesian grid. What you have to remember is that the first number always represents the X coordinate, which is your X axis, so moving left and right. And the second number is your Y value, uh, which is your vertical up and down. And it's always going to be that way. So think about it this way, before you move the ladder left and right, you move the ladder left and right, before you are actually able to go up and down the ladder.